Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this 3D model using FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. I am using these settings for this tutorial and I pick FreeCAD light user interface. I will pick the parametric part template and I am on part design workbench. Click on create sketch to create the profile sketch and fix XZ frames. Let's zoom out a bit. I will use polyline tool to create the profile. Click on the origin and move the mouse to approximately 250mm. Make sure it is constrained vertically. Click and move the mouse to approximately 120mm horizontally and make sure it is constrained horizontally. Click and move down to approximately 20mm vertically and make sure it is constrained vertically. Click and move the mouse somewhere here and click and move the mouse vertically and make sure to click on the X axis and then click on the origin to close the profile. So we have the rough sketch now. Let me add the exact dimensions using this tool. I will add all the dimensions until it is fully constrained. Now I will add fillet to these corners. And give a dimension. Make sure it is fully constrained. Now click on the revolution tool. And click OK. Click on fit all to see the full model. Now click on the thickness tool and tick the top and bottom faces. Make sure you have selected those faces in the selection window and in the wall thickness. It looks good now. Zoom into the top face. Select the top face and click create sketch. Now I am going to use this existing geometry as reference for my new sketch. Click on this tool. Click on this point and this outside circle. Now, 
pick the center rectangle tool and draw a rectangle here. Use the wheel mouse to zoom while on rectangle tool. Enter the value for the length and press enter key, then enter the value for the height of the box. Now draw a circle at the center of the flame. And click here. I will constrain the new circle with the reference circle using tangent constraint tool. Now I will trim everything outside the profile using the trim edge tool. Now the sketch is under constraint. Let's make it fully constrained by adding dimensions. Now it is fully constrained. Let's close the sketches test. I'm pretty sure most of you know about this model and task window. But in case if you are a beginner, this is the main area where you will be working the most. The task tab option is where you create your 3D model. Model tab option is where you can go back and modify the model. Make sure the sketch is selected and click on the pad command. Leave the 10mm and check this reverse box. Click OK. Now pick this face and click on create sketch. Click this tool and pick this line for reference. Switch to rectangle and draw a rectangle here. Type 40 for the width and press enter and type 40 again for the height. You can also use constraints instead of dimensions, but I will cover the type of constraints in another tutorial. Always make sure it is fully constrained. Cross the current task. Now click on the pad command to give thickness. Leave 10mm and click OK to finish the pad command. Now I am going to add radius to some corners. Click on fillet command and select these two edges. Type 20 mm for radius. Let's add radius to this corner. I am going to add radius to this corner by selecting like this. Make this radius 5 mm. Now the model is complete.
Let me change some appearance of the model. Let's hide the edges. You can also add material to it. If you like my video, please subscribe. I will be adding more videos soon. Thanks for watching my video. See you soon.